welcome to another YouTube video. to the farm for a couple of reasons, just to get away from my house in yelling up because it's getting renos have been done. Uh, but today we're on the farm, I've come back to the farm to see the parents, see my brother's family, see their kids and just spend a bit of time in the country because it's always nice to get out to full bush uh, in the wheat belt out here. So there is also another reason why I've come out here. So a while ago when I was in Norway, I met up with a friend and he was telling me about how he can memorize, he was telling me about how he can memorize 50 pages in like 10 minutes. I was like, nah, don't believe it. So I gave him, gave him a magazine and he went away, studied the pages, come back to me and he handed me the magazine and he says, go through this magazine page by page and I'll be able to tell you what's on each page. So I went through every page and, and he just said, and he just memorized each page, what was on that page as I flicked through. And he got all 50. And I was pretty blown away by it. So I was like, I wanted, so I said to him, can you please teach me how to do this? And he has. And I've been studying it a little bit the last couple of weeks and I've been trying to implement that into posing couples at weddings and just poses around photo shoots. So let's take this little bad boy for a spin and I'm going to show you how to memorize your memory palace. This puppy goes 10 k's an hour. memory palace. So I'm going to run you through the memory palace and how I remember each pose and the next 20 poses. So with the memory palace what it is is that you associate a certain thing for me or as us photographers, filmmakers in the wedding industry, a pose to a certain thing in your palace. So the number one thing on my palace is this sign. So this is the first thing in my memory palace and as you go through the memory palace you associate each room or sign or road or whatever it may be, TV, oven, to, to the thing you want to remember. So you just walk through your palace and associate each memory to that thing. So, so many memories of a child on this farm and you know I was farming only two years ago. So I remember, so I thought this can be my memory palace and to start off with is going to be the farm sign. So as soon as I pull up into my palace, number one is, so the pose for me for my number one is called the kiss attack where someone comes in and like where the, the groom or uh, runs, kind of runs in behind the bride and just nibbles the bride on the face. And you know, and so I've just got the kiss attack on my mind. So I'm pretending that the kiss attack is written on this sign. So now I just associate the kiss attack, that pose to this first thing on Memory Palace, which is the sign, right? So, and then the next one is walk and kiss. And I've got the entrance as my walk and kiss. So I've got the front gate as the walk and kiss. So that's pose number two. And I'll just picture the front gate that the couple is going to walk and kiss in the front gate. And then number three pose on my on my memory palace is
the drunk walk. So I, I picture or associate the drunk walk with the driveway. So number three, driveway, drunk walk. So we've got kiss attack, the sign, walk and kiss this front gate, the drunk walk down this driveway. Now let's go to the fourth post. We'll ever pay on our day. We'll ever pay on our day. Yes. Well, in here. <laughs> Next one. Next one is the cold walk. So this is number four. This is the cold walk to the gate. And also, so, so that I would, I would pretend that the couple is just walking side by side, the, the bride's tucking her arm into the groom and she's just walking to this gate. And also, I just wanted to say that these aren't all my poses that I've made up. These poses come from learning and research and education and doing courses and uh, just basically hustling to find good poses that I enjoy shooting that look good out in nature because I'm shooting mostly in nature out in paddocks and in, in around in southwest so these these look really nice in negative space so when you, you know there's an open paddock and you can really allow the couple to breathe in the paddock or in the open space so you know to find poses you've just got to do your research do courses shoot literally just put in the reps and as you get confident posing more and more people you'll see what looks good and then you, you bring that in so you, you grab what what you think looks good when you're editing you know you're, you're throwing these photos in the in lightroom and you're editing them and you think to yourself, shit, that looks all right. And then you grab that, and then you some photos that you don't enjoy, and then you throw them away. And that's how you also get your style, whether it's color or poses or whatever it might be while you're editing. You are you are bringing in what you enjoy, what looks aesthetically pleasing to you, and chucking out what you don't enjoy. And that is how you improve, simply by putting in the reps. Then the next one, is I pictured this here as the entrance as we just walk into the house. And this is the run for me. So this is where the couple just run together side by side, looking at each other, you know, and, and you can slow that down, it looks amazing. Uh, if you film, if you if you photo, it still looks epic. So I would picture this path right here as the run, so the couple would run. And now I associate with that. And then moving on, there you go, it's a bit better. So the next one I picture is this door here. I literally picture, in my mind, I picture this step. And I picture them doing a twirl on the step. And then I'll walk in to my palace. And I'll go inside. I'm not going to go inside because this is my brother's house and we'll just leave it at that. But inside the patio is another one called Foreground Flowers where the bride would wrap her okay around the groom and she would just that they would just sort of look into each other's eyes and then you could just get this beautiful shot looking over the flowers using the flowers as foreground and you know you get a nice close-up of the bride looking into the groom's eyes and it's magic and so then that's foreground flowers and then if we go a step ahead we go one more ahead uh, to the next one on my memory palace is the cold wedge so then that's the cold wedge with them. I would picture them in front of the door, the door to the house. And then the next one is the stoic, where it's, I can just picture them in the lounge room, hand in hand, side by side. And then the next one is the pickup. And then that's, I picture them picking, I picture the groom picking the bride up in the TV. So that I'm like looking, watching TV, and I'm watching the bride and groom pick each other up. And that's 10 right there. So, it's a really, really cool way to memory, to memorize your poses. And it's so simple. So I think it's really important to go into a shoot 
with confidence, first of all, and then when you have confidence, you can go in knowing that you've got these, these let's just say, I've got 20 in my memory palace, but let's just say you have 10. Going in with 10 poses is so much better knowing that you've come in with confidence and you can just go straight to them. They're your safety, they're your safety poses. You can go straight to them and it's, you know, it's you're gonna feel a lot easier going into the shoot. We get paid a lot of money to shoot weddings and couples and elopements or whatever it may be. So it's in our best interest to have poses in our mind ready to go for confidence and for just fit like we get paid for this is our job. So we need to be switched on with this I reckon. So uh, that's my opinion about it. Uh, so you know you can go into your next couple shoot, engagement, wedding, whatever, with complete confidence knowing that you've got these 10 poses associated with your memory bank, with your memory palace. Just gonna have a little seat on the slide here. So your memory palace, as you walk through your memory palace, for me it's it's my country home where I grew up. So I'll always remember the sign and the gate and the driveway and the, the gate here and the path and so but you can walk through your memory palace in the city or wherever you might be you know you can go your driveway to your door to your you know to your lounge room to your TV and it's really easy actually to walk through each room so you would sort of want to try and walk around the house going through each room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, laundry, and associate those rooms with your poses. And it doesn't have to be poses either. It can be anything else you want to remember. As long as you're associating what you want to remember to each room or whatever it may be in your memory palace, that's about it. And you know, I thought I'd wear a flannel in the Cooper today because we are on the farm and uh, it's what you do on the farm, I guess. Oh. Oh. Should be sponsored by a Cooper. Yes! Yeah, as a kid growing up in the farm, and I mean, I'm not sure if most city people could maybe relate, I don't know, but surely everyone had a sand pit. Surely, everyone had a sand pit, and you could get your bloody Tonka truck, and you can drive it through the sand. How good was that as a kid? Oh my God, you know, they're getting spoiled these days with these bloody excavators. I wish I had an excavator as a kid. All I had was a little Tonka truck this big. Ah, oh, kids these days, eh? Bloody spoiled. <laughs>